Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toy Escapades channel in Malaysia. It's been a week of full-on excitement and uncertainty as Motu Origins Wave 13 turns up from out of nowhere in Australia. First as a sales listing on eBay and then straight on the packs at a chain of department stores called The Big W. These images were shared online by Brandon Ryan in the Origins fans group on Facebook and I actually received messages from several people on Instagram asking just what or where exactly is the big W even from people living in Australia? Well, near as I can tell, it's pretty much like Walmart or even Tesco like what we have here in Malaysia. Just that they have the latest Moto Origins toys. When news of these figures hitting down under started to circulate, I began to ask myself, who do I know in Australia who can get me some info on all of this? Hmm, thankfully, Andy Culver, aka Dead Metal and Dogs, reached out to me on Instagram and was kind enough to send me these in-hand photos of the entire wave in HD. Yeah, check it out, exclusively to the channel, which we're going to check out today and discuss on the channel. Andy, thank you so much for sending in these absolutely amazing photos. By the way, I was super thrilled to discover that the title of the mini comic that comes with this wave is in fact, Serpent's Siege. That's right, okay, I talked about it in the video last week that I did on the channel, where I was speculating, okay, from the words that we could see from behind the figures in the package. Could it be that the title reads, Serpent's Siege? Well, it sure does. Slamura is of course going to be a fan favorite with just about anyone out there, even though this does seem like an easy cash grab repaint of Ninja. However, they do try and distract us by having Slamura go up against a super obscure OG character like Lord Grasp on the cutback artwork. Yeah, that's right. I see what you're doing there, guys. I see it. Nevertheless, staring at these in-hand images, it's hard to deny that Slamurai does look pretty freaking nice. But then again, he's a ninja, so it's pretty hard for him not to be awesome. And let's also bring out the Wave 4 ninja figure, as there are some notable differences between the both of them. The chest emblem is different, of course, between both figures. And Slamurai now also has the human feet compared to ninja. On the figure's back, we see the massive crossbow weapon and it's now been repainted blue. This makes it stand out a whole lot more compared to the original version that was packed with Ninja where all of the weapons in that set were just given a flat grey colour. Both the face cops are identical of course. Technically, that makes them the same guy, you know, and both with the same soulless eyes that promise their enemies nothing but despair and pain and more despair. Guys, if you enjoyed the content on the channel, whether you're new here or a long-time follower, I hope you consider joining up as a member. Membership gives you early access to videos, exclusive content here, and also prioritized replies, and it helps me to continue bringing you more content like this. Randor is a clear standout in this wave, and with these fantastic in-hand images, we can see the vast amount of new tooling and parts that he now gets compared to his Wave 10 figure. This is of course the younger Randor compared to the senior ruler that his Wave 10 figure was. Yeah, that Randor, he would have negotiated. This Randor looks set to nullify his nemesis. He's also kind of short looking. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Maybe it's the weight of all that armor on him. But there's a lot of stuff here that's new from the Royal Staff accessory to the gold chest armor to the cybernetic bracelets and even right down to his techno leg, right? His face cup has been revised as well to accommodate his new grungy hairdo and crown piece. On the back, we see that the cape has an entirely different color tone as well compared to the earlier figure. I'm happy that this figure continues the trend of high quality 2002 style figure renditions in Origins after Wave 9's He-Man and Skeletor figures. But Randor alone, does not make up for the sheer number of repainted and recycled figures in this one single wave. We got some nice and clear images here of the Snake Trooper as well. Although I feel that the buzz on this figure has been drowned out somewhat by the appearance of another very obscure character on the card art. This guy that you see here in an orange-like jumpsuit who's smacking the shit out of this trooper. This heroic warrior known as Strobo. Like I mentioned elsewhere, Strobo is a weird combo of Zodak, Cyclone and the giant clock that's on Public Enemy's Flavor Flav, okay? <laughs> now, I guess that we might be seeing a figure of him at some point, but I'm laying it out right now, guys. You can probably miss me on this one. 
As discussed previously, that original Origins Hot Trooper body is really only suitable for the Hot Trooper. I'm not a fan, like I mentioned, of how the Snake Trooper looks so scrawny on that reused body, and Rathlaw just wasn't a good choice for the head either. But there are some nice customization options here. I mean, you can't deny that. And I guess that you could swap out Rathlaw's head with another Snake Man. But this would really have benefited from its own unique snake head design. Now, these in-hand images also confirm the red snake man shield that the trooper comes with. This shield is reused from the shield that came with the deluxe King His set, and it's only the second time in Origins that the shield has appeared. The shield does improve the look of the trooper, and it also means that he gets one extra accessory piece compared to the standard release hot trooper. Now, when I get this trooper, I'm gonna try swapping his head with camo cans. And now, Snake Tila. Some have called Snake Tila the best Origins Tila figure ever. Some say she looks like a Happy Meal toy compared to the original from 2004. What do you guys think? It's great that the card art has an Easter egg of sorts in that it's a sequel to the action scene that's on the King His deluxe set from a few months back. By the way, there's still no sign of that King His action figure anywhere in Malaysia. This new Tila does incorporate some elements of her sculpt, accessories, and costume that were taken off the Tila and Zoa 2 pack from some time back. Now that one was an exclusive, it wasn't commercially released in Malaysia and I couldn't work up the excitement to get it after realizing that the Zoa figure was an almost direct translation of the 80s version with no updated parts, okay? Now this new version of Tila blankets her body in reptilian lines that looked like they were done with maybe a marker pen. <laughs> However, admittedly, it does give the sculpt a unique and interesting look. Now, the last time we had an all green Tila sculpt was the Green Goddess figure from Wave 6, hundreds of which are still unsold here after two years. And by the way, notice how she's able to almost camouflage herself against the castle walls. Huh? Check it out. Now, Tila has an all new redesigned armored vest. You'll notice this especially since her back is now entirely covered for the first time. Okay, on all of the other figures, she's been bare back, okay, like fully exposed. But now, she's fully armoured. And you notice a slot for her to park her sword in as well. And that's also a first for an Origin Stila figure. All in, I have to say that this is a pretty unique figure in itself. It does contain some new elements that we've not seen before. And at the same time, it's also got a lot of reuse, okay? I think that, you know, when it comes to this entire wave overall, I just feel that what it needed was just some new freaking monsters, okay, that we've never seen before, all right? Instead of all these freaking redecos, yeah, just some freaking monsters. Guys, special thanks once again to Andy Culver for sending over these images for us to get this video done. Really appreciate that, Andy. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Thank you and take care out there.